Typically, I don't talk about browser updates. They're not really all that exciting. But Google Chrome has gotten some pretty cool updates over the past few weeks, and there are three that really stand out to me as actually really improving my workflow and making my life easier, and I wanted to share them with you. I'm Eples Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and these are my top three updates to Google Chrome over the past few weeks that I think you may want to pay attention to. So number one, I'm just going to pull up this Redbubble website. If you want to send a website to another device, you no longer have to bookmark it and then pull it up or try to access it from your tab history or anything like that. You actually now have a dedicated button. If you click in the URL bar, there is a send this page button and you can send it to any recent device that you have been signed into the same Google Chrome account. Now you do have to have, you know, Chrome syncing enabled and signed into it, which not a lot of people are for, but it has made my life easier and I've been using it for like eight years now and it's been great. I can sit here and be like, okay, I want to send this to my phone. Send to Pixel 2 XL. You get a little notification. I can pull up my phone here, unlock it. Oh, the notification just came through. It took a couple seconds. I had to actually activate Google Chrome. Maybe it wasn't running in the background, but then I did get a push notification saying which device the page was sent from and what the page actually is before you click on it, just in case you get sent something that is, you know, a phishing link or anything like that. You get a preview of what it is, what the domain is, and where it was sent from. And then I can tap on it, and I am taken to the exact same web page that we are looking at on the screen right now. That is pretty cool. Another one is a little bit of a quality of life update to the print dialog. Typically when you hit control P or you have a print this page button for like when you're paying bills, that's how I discovered it. Uh, it takes up like your full screen and it's really obnoxious and most people don't need that. Now, if you print a page, you just get a tiny little print preview. That's all you need. And then you can save it from there. Instead of it taking up your whole screen and being super obnoxious. I like this a lot. Lastly, there is an update with certain websites, and honestly, the only one that I have confirmed working is Twitter, where you get this extra little button in the URL button to, to basically turn it into an app. Now, Chrome used to have Chrome web apps as part of their extension ecosystem, and you had dedicated apps for Google Keep and Google Drive and Twitter and Instagram and things like that, and then they killed all that off, and then you could still sort of use the app manager, but then that exposed my browser to malware, and so I don't you know, they removed that for good reason and then it had vulnerabilities apparently. Well, now they are bringing back, I don't, I can't find any trace of this anywhere other than within Chrome, but to where you can now make a dedicated app. And so it asked me to install Twitter as an app, which basically just adds a dedicated window shortcut. And then I can tell it to open with Twitter and then bring over this whole dedicated app, which adjusts to the color theme of the website. So instead of having my normal, normal title bar, it has you know, the full Twitter dark theme going here. And then also it has the hamburger menu. You can still adjust scaling here. And then it has the hamburger menu, which accesses all of your normal Chrome extensions, all of your normal, well, most of your normal Chrome options. And then you have the option to either, of course, uninstall it. You have app info. You can open it directly in Chrome. So if you just need to do something in Chrome instead of in this window, you can do it there or copy URL. This is important for Twitter specifically because Twitter actually removed the copy tweet URL from their drop down menu for some bizarre reason. So you would have to use the URL bar and copy it from there. Well, instead, you can just go here, copy URL, and then I can send that tweet to someone on Discord, for example, or something like that. This is pretty nice. Again, the only thing I can confirm it working with is Twitter, but it's pretty cool. You did previously have the option of doing something like this from the hamburger menu. If you go to more tools, uh, you can create shortcut and you could send uh, it to the desktop and then you can choose open as window. And it mostly does the same thing, but I don't think it's going to have the direct kind of color theme matching and some of the integrations that this new app has, but it's pretty cool. As a b -b 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 bonus, if you put your mouse where your extensions bar is typically you had to manually drag these to the three dots in order to change you know how many were seen and things like that you now get a little separator adjuster bar and you can automatically just drag and retreat to show how many of your extensions are actually shown on the toolbar obviously if you have specific ones that you want to make sure are shown other than the order that it gives you then you'll have to adjust manually but if you just real quick want to give you a lot or a little of space that's an option for you. I actually don't really need a super long URL bar, so that's fine. 
Nothing groundbreaking here, nothing too dramatic or crazy, but a couple little things that would go under the radar that could actually make your life a little bit easier. It's making mine easier, and I just wanted to share them with you. If you enjoyed the video, as always, hit the like button, subscribe for more tech education, check out a playlist link with my other, you know, kind of tutorial e content in the description down below. Go check us out on Flowpaint, where you can get early access to videos and behind the scenes content. I'm Evil Zox. I'll see you next time.